So the nine just hit again. Baner win money times 100. And the eight just hit. Big Bane bada boom. What's up, YouTube? Welcome to another one of our videos. Today, me and my wife are going to be demonstrating the systems we like to play when we go play craps. And we'll do a later video. Follow and subscribe for that of us playing roulette we are streaming live right now at twitch.tv backslash red the deer or you guys can catch my live streams right here on youtube i'm actually currently live if you see that little red circle click on it come say hi would love to see you hi red the editor here checking in with you thank you so much for clicking on this video first of all second of all we had some audio glitches with the recorded file of this if you want those to be out of the video, please go watch my VOD. It's on my Twitch or the previous stream on my YouTube. Otherwise, there'll be times where you'll hear my mic cut out. I have muted that part of the stream and I've added subtitles on the bottom of the screen to compensate for that. I'm apologizing a thousand times over. I'm so sorry. Let me let you get back to the video. Thank you again. First off, we're going to demonstrate what the rules of craps are. A lot of people will talk about their systems and how they play, but I'm going to talk about the initial just full on rules of craps baseline to give you a good standard to start from and you could develop your own systems or follow along with the ones that I demonstrate with you later on in this video. So to start to roll out on craps, you have to place a bet and the table can be extremely intimidating. But what I will teach you is the simplest bet in Vegas and also statistically the best one you can make. It's called a pass line. So to roll the dice, if you're the only person at the table, you have to bet the minimum. Generally, the tables that you'll see around the world are $10. Sometimes you'll find $5. Sometimes you'll find $25, but generally they're $10. So your first initial bet will be $10 on something called the pass line. Now, this table will look a little bit different, um, I'll show a demonstration of the table real fast. So this is what a table looks like. It's kind of blurry, but basically you uh, have two sides to it, but they're the exact same side. That's why this table that you're going to see here is only half of that. This is half of the table. So you're only ever playing on half the table. The other side is just parallel to that table. Now, after you have your pass line, you're going to roll the dice. Whatever you roll, an effect will happen. We're basically looking for a four, five, six, eight, nine, or 10. On this table, we have a different number system, but the general average and probably most common will be four to 10. It is missing a couple. Obviously it doesn't have some of the numbers in there. Like it's missing seven, for example, but this is going to be the average table you see. We're looking for a four, five, six, eight, nine, or 10 on the roll, the very first roll. Everything else that happens, if something else rolls, we'll discuss as it happens. But to start, this is what we're looking for. Let's see what we get. We got an eight, perfect. Now this is the other thing you wanna do. All the dealers will then ask you if you wanna take your odds. All this means is you place at least the minimum of your bet or the table minimum behind your initial bet. This is the best bet in vegas if you can get to the point on a craps table where you are placing your odds if you do nothing else you just play minimum pass line minimum odds you have a 65 percent chance to win there's no other bet in vegas that is even remotely close to that high if you play perfect strategy in blackjack you have a 50 percent chance to win if you play half coverage you have a 49 point chance to win 65 percent chance to win if you play pass line minimum odds craps very very good shot to start with now all you're looking for is whatever number is currently on in this case eight you are hoping for a similar role a same role you want an eight so if this is all you play you're going to roll numbers until you get an eight or the bad number which is a seven Seven is craps, as well as three, 12, and two. But seven is the really bad number because if a number is on, it clears the table. It's a full no win, but in some exceptions, seven can be good, but we'll discuss those in more complex time frame later on. To start, 
we go back on the pass line and we roll. In this case, five is now the number that is on. We cover our odds and now we're hoping for a five to come out. In this case, a six comes out and this number will continue to roll until you either crap out or you hit a five. It could be a thousand rolls. It could be one roll like we just saw. You're going to just keep rolling until, in this case, another seven or five. Now, we'll talk about some of the fun bets before we get into our systems. After a number is hit, in this case, six, you can now take odds on other numbers. You always have to pay the minimum. So we'll say we want the five and we'd like an eight. Eight and six are a little bit special because they have a higher chance of coming out. The casino covers their bets by making you do a $2 buffer on six and eight. So if you're on a $10 table, you have to add a $2 buffer to your $10 bet, making six and eight cost 12. This can be the most confusing part for most people, but basically just ask the casino dealer at the time what numbers you'd like to cover and they'll tell you the amount of money you'd have to put down minimum wise to cover that number. Now we have five, eight, and six covered. These are the easiest numbers to hit in a dice roll. So you win money if five, six, or eight happens before any other roll happens. So let's roll some dice. Great example of why you should never bet. If you guys have a gambling problem, there's lines that you can call to please like get help. But um, yeah, there's there's a there's a there's a phone number in the description below to get help if you have a gambling problem. There's no shame in it. We all come to a point to where we need to find help. The first step is admitting it. Nothing in Vegas is secure. It's the best bet in Vegas, but you can always lose. The Remember that. Is still low. So we're gonna start with our pass line. I'd love to demonstrate a good roll for you. Let's go ahead and grab the eight here. Let's grab our pass line and let's roll. Oh my God. <laughs> we used up all our luck. This is why. <laughs> Me and Vicky practiced our systems before we started the stream and I was up like $2,000. Okay. So we did lose up all our luck. We got to, we got to roll a little bit to, to catch up. Okay. Yes. So if a number isn't on, we'll talk about this since it came up. If a number wasn't rolled on the initial roll and you roll a three, a two or a 12, it's also craps and you lose your pass line. If no number is currently activated, if a seven or an 11 is rolled with no number activated, you'll win your pass line bet that gets complicated, but basically money will come and money will go. The dealers will guide you through that process. Seven just hit without a number being activated. So we won $10. Thank you so much, Fate. I appreciate you helping me being able to describe that. We go back out. 12 just hit. Perfect example. We lose the $10. This is called the easy come, easy go wave. Seven happens most. So there's going to be a lot of times where you win $10. But with two, 12, and three being the killer, it's equal odds most of the time to where it's easy come, easy go. You don't worry too much about rolling or losing money without a number being activated. So let's continue. Nine just rolled. So we're going to take our pass line and now we're going to take our six and our eight. And we roll the nine. Perfect example. The six and eight does nothing. It stays there, but the nine just hit. So our pass line and our odds just paid. We had a total of $44 out there. We win 25. Really, we win 45 because we take our odds and we take our pass line. Now we can go back on the pass line and everything's treated as if the off is it. So generally, after a number goes off, automatically your bets will come off. They, they get this little... Like they stay out there, they don't give them to you, but if a bad number is rolled, nothing will happen to them. You can change this if you like to. I strongly don't recommend doing that. Let's go ahead and roll just our normal pass line. The only bet we have at risk right now is $10, regardless of what's on the table. We roll, we just hit another nine. So now the nine becomes on, we grab our odds. The six and eight no longer have the off button on top of them. And if a six, eight or nine rolls, we win money. 
An 11 rolls, really good, means nothing for us. A four rolls mm -hmm. means nothing for us. You're if you had, I know, it's fine. You're dying a little inside. He's making jokes because she knows what my system is, and this is brutal. But if you had the four in this example, right. you would have won your money. You would have won your bet. So the nine just hit again. Boehner win money times 100. We just won our $45 bet again. These come back off. We go back on the pass line. Everyone's hootering and hollering and clapping. This is why craps is such a fun and entertaining game. Then keep moving him. <laughs> keep moving him. Now you go back on the pass line and these stay off. Eight just hit. Generally, I like to clear my eight or my six if they become the number that's active. No reason to have two bets on it at the same time. Sometimes people will move it. So in this case, we'll say we moved it to the nine. They give you the $2 buffer. And now our eight is now a nine. So now we win six, eight, or nine, if that hits, okay? Last roll, the six just hit. I need these to stay. This stays here. We just won $14. Now our six is considered playing for free because there's only $12 out there and it's, only pay it's already paid us $2. So now we're just hoping for a six, eight, or nine. And we win money. Four hits, we're fine. Six just hits again, we win another $14. And this is how you play craps. Six just hit again, we're happy. We're $14 in. We're $74 down from how we started. We started with $10,000, but we basically are just printing money right now. The nine just hit, so we win $14. Everything's great. And the eight just hit. Big Bane, bada boom. That's a $22 bet. The six and the nine come off. Everyone's clapping. That's a three number hit roll. Really, really good. We keep the pass line. We roll again. The five comes out. I'll cover our odds. We keep the six out. We keep the eight out. We already have the nine. So we take the, the nine would just stay. And now we have, we're wagering $54 but we are only $50 down from where we started. And after getting several sevens in a row, that's so pretty good. $4. Good, five just hit again. So this is a perfect example of how the pass line, if you never played these, you would have won this four times in a row to the three times you lost. This is why if you only play the pass line and the odds, you would be winning money. So we roll again. We're just gonna go until we hit the number till, till we hit the bad number. See how good this roll actually ends up going. Let's do it. Let's so now see. we're hoping for a 10. Eight just hit, just printing money. Give me another 14. 11 just hit, level good 11. Six just hit, give me my 14 bucks. We are now up $17. So this is why craps is very special. It has a really good opportunity to win a lot of money or lose a lot of money very quickly if you don't know what you're doing. If we cleared out right now, the only thing we can't clear is our pass line. But if we just got off the numbers, we would be up 50 bucks. Now we're just playing the pass line. Why not? Let's see if we get the 10. We didn't, we got the seven. We pulled our numbers because we were up. Yeah, we were up we up. only lost $20 there at the end rather than losing 56. We and we stay up $50. And how long do we play for? 15 minutes? Maybe, I mean, it takes a long time to throw out chips and to roll. That was a very long roll. That was probably a 30 minute gambling session. Maybe 45 minutes if someone was like slow. Yeah, if the, if the dealers were new, that was a very good session. You play craps for a long time. Especially if this is only one half. Like yeah. If it's two half. With friends and family. It's a great community game. So thank you for- uh, the basics, yeah. Yeah, that's, that's, you guys now know the basics to craps. Don't worry about the field if it's your first time. Don't worry about the come if it's your first time. Do not ever throw money on the hard way or the horn, C and E or seven, if you do not know what you're doing. You will lose money extremely quickly and it can be very, very dangerous. If it's not part of the strategy, you're just throwing all the money. The best strategy to start learning how to play craps, watch other people with how they're betting, ask them questions, ask dealers questions, they love that. Play just the pass line for a little, couple of your first starter games. Start getting adventurous by taking some numbers if you so choose so. 
and start working yourself into the best gambling addiction of your life. Thank you so much for getting to the end of this video. It means a lot that you hunt in there the whole time. And obviously if you watched it, I'm assuming you didn't know much about craps. So please go out there, be responsible, have a fun time and win some chips on me. If you guys wanna see more content like this, please use the links in the description below or click on the videos at the end of the screen to be able to find videos like this for gambling tips, craps, and roulette, or some of my gaming content if you're interested in that as well. Like I said, thank you very much for checking this one out. Until the next time I see you, play smart, play with your heart, always be red-nosed. Catch you guys next time. Bye!